Okay, so this is part two of Hotmail won't delete your emails. Um, so I'm having the issue again. My uh, hard drive, I guess my Hotmail space is filled up and my first technique isn't working. Um, so I had to play around and find another way to uh, get things going here and I think I figured it out. Um, so here's part two. Uh, so, uh, this is what's going on. So I have my junk mail here and I want to get rid of it all. So I go to empty folder, delete all. It's out of here. Oh, actually here it's working. Okay. So my technique does work. See, it's emptying the folder here. When you get to this stage, it's working. And I'll show you how I got here because the technique wasn't working at all. Uh, there was 800, uh, items in the deleted thing and I kept deleting them, I marked it as red, I followed my own video, and it didn't work. And I'll show you how I got to this stage. Let's just let this finish off. So here's the theory why it's not working for you uh, and myself. Um, so when you're at 100% full, when, you're, when it's filled up your allotted space, um, and then you try to do a massive delete, there's no space in your storage to do it. It can't store it in RAM or hard drive. It, it just can't do it because there's actually no space. So what I did was I went into deleted. Um, sometimes you have to refresh the screen if something doesn't show up here. Um, so I went in here and did it one by one. Try I slowly s f freed up enough space um, so that you then can do a massive deletes. So what you're trying to do is just, yeah, I think you guys understand. So you're just trying to free up the space so that the delete um, software actually has some room, some space to delete stuff. Then you can do massive ones. So I was going in like this and just selecting them one by one. Uh, I started with like three, went to delete, and I noticed it would then go into the recover items, um, which it wasn't doing before. Then go in there and clear these out. Empty the folder. See, now they're all showing up in here before. They, were, they weren't they were showing up in here in the recoverable uh, to, to be able to delete them. And it was because, there we go. Once you get this thing going on, uh, you're, you're cooking with gas. Uh, this means it's actually working. Uh, I wasn't getting this at all. And so even if you have to delete them one at a time, just get something showing up in your deleted items, select just one, um, go to delete just the one, not all of them, otherwise it, it wasn't working for me. Um, until you get enough space so that Hotmail can actually do massive deleting. Um, hopefully that makes sense. You're just giving it enough space. <laughs> I started with three and, uh, and then delete. Okay. And then I was going in here, recover items, then empty folder. And once you get this process going, you're, you're good to go. Um, now I should be able to, let's see if I can massively... Let's empty the whole folder. There, see, I couldn't get rid of these at all. Let's try it, let's delete all. Good, once the, you see this little progress bar going and the emptying of folder, you're actually doing it. So I'm glad, so now it's massively getting rid of um, 861. These should go into my deleted items, uh, my recoverable items, at which point I'll delete that folder and then they should be gone and I'll, ha I'll stop having my emails bounce. I think I finally figured this out. I know there were some people that it, my original thing worked for, um, but then in the comments, I noticed some of you guys, it wasn't working for I wasn't quite sure why. Um, so I'm sort of glad it happened to me because then I can, f I can help those guys out too. So you're just gonna delete them, even one email at a time if you can get the process to work. Um, go into your lead fo folder, just check the one, um, go into the recoverable fo folder, delete that one and start freeing up a little bit of space and then Hotmail's delete function will, will kick in once you've given it some room. Um, so let me try this out. Let's go into recover items and empty the folder in here. And if it goes to the progress bar, which it is, it means uh, it's working. Um, so guys, if this helped anyone, uh, I think I've got this thing totally wrapped up now. Um, so use my first video if that doesn't work, use this, part two. So if this helped you guys, please uh, comment below, give me a like, and uh, subscribe.